Tombstone, Arizona Territory, November 7, 1881. The end of a murder trial. Sam Edwards, convicted of armed robbery and murder, was sentenced to death by hanging. Talk to your prisoner? Not if he doesn't. You carry any weapons? Not just my pencil. Well, I don't guess Edwards can write his way out of jail. Edwards? What do you want? I'm Harris Clyburn, editor of the Epitaph. I robbed the man. He pulled a gun and I shot him. Three witnesses saw it, and they're going to string me up in the morning. That's it. That's the whole story, newsman. Just like that. Any regrets? <laughs> yeah. I regret they caught me. I want to see my brother. All right. Put your gun belt on the table. Now get out of here. Who is that? Newspaper editor. What do you want? Story of my life. Never mind him. I stopped by to tell you not to worry. Not to worry? They're going to string me up in the morning and you're telling me not to worry? Just shut up and get some sleep tonight. John, I want to sleep tomorrow night. Just don't worry. I'll take my gun. Short visit, Mr. Edwards. Well, I've got a deadline to meet, Mr. Newsman. And, uh... Don't write the obituary yet. An actual account from the pages of my newspaper, the Tombstone Epitaph. This is the way it happened. In the town too tough to die. Tombstone Territory. November 8, 1881. Violence was not uncommon in Tombstone, but it wasn't every day a man was hanged. And many of the citizens were up earlier than usual. And he ordered twice as big a breakfast as the two of us put together. Maybe he's just putting on an act. Mm -hmm. If it's an act, it's a good one. He finished every bite of it. Yeah. Something tells me that Sam Edwards doesn't think he's going to hang. Neither does his brother.
right, Clint. Bring him out. Time to go, Sam. I was going to do, Sheriff. Hang myself. Put the cuffs on him, Clint. Goodbye, Edward. I don't like goodbyes. There. I've come for my brother. You better listen close, lawman. This cord on my boot, it goes to a spring hooked to the trigger of a loaded rifle. Now, the rifle is aimed dead center at a full box of dynamite. You shoot me, my leg will relax. This town of Tombstone will be just one big hole in the ground. Sort of looks like a standoff, don't it? I can't shoot you. You can't take Sam. We got no standoff. Cut him loose. Send him down here, quick! Guess he didn't hear me. Switch triggered to a case of dynamite, Clay. That's not all I've got, Sheriff. Sam, throw back that cover. Oh, he's not dead, Sheriff. He won't do me no good dead. Lift him up, Sam. Take off the gag. Whatever you have to do, Clay. Oh, Harris, it isn't just you. There really is dynamite in that box. It would blow up the whole town. And you and Sam. Sam was going to die anyway. I just shot your hangman. There's not much difference between hanging and blowing up. You die both ways. One's just noisier. There are things worse than hanging or blowing up, Edwards. I'm going to be following you. Yeah. 
You do that, Sheriff. And take your time. We got a long way to go. I told you not to worry. That's what you told me. November 8, 1881. Clay Hollister decided on a plan of action. He was determined to find a way to capture the Edwards brothers. Quint. Come here, Sheriff. I want you to take two men and follow that wagon. I want John Edwards to think that I'm one of you. So stay in plain sight and out of rifle range. And don't you fire at them. If Edwards relaxes that leg, that dynamite will blow. What are you going to do? Well, I don't know for sure. But sooner or later, they're going to have to separate themselves from that dynamite. And I'm going to be there when they do. Sheriff's following, all right. He's got two men with him. But he's keeping his distance. Yep. Hey, let's get that thing unhooked. You can't keep your leg like that forever. Now, relax. I'm running this. If I weren't, you'd be dead now. <clears throat> you try that again, and I'll kill you. I have a feeling that's what you have in mind anyway. Getting a little closer. See if you can get one of them. The middle one. They're not close enough to hit. They'll stay on your heels. I hope so. I sure hope so. I'm counting on that. I don't know what you have in mind, but Hollister won't give up. He can follow us forever, and that's a long time. Not in your case, Sam. Or yours. Whoa! Oh! Now what? Sam, reach down and take hold of the cord. Hurry! Right. Quick, just take the cord! Now keep the tension on it. You got it? Yeah. Oh. Oh, man. 
I had a crack in my foot. Anybody hurt? No, I think they were just measuring distance, Clay. Keep dogging them. We'll get our chance. Right. <laughs> I got it. Okay. some of those bumps. You drive like we're carrying a sack of wheat. The bump won't hurt that stuff. The weather's too cold. Besides, we don't have much further to go. this newspaper man where we're headed. You know, you're running into a lot of hard luck. Well, we can go somewhere else, John. After we make this turn up here, we're gonna stop and unload. Make sure that posse keeps his distance. Should be two horses, saddles and some grub. Go see if they're there. Everything's there. Sure. I planned it. Stand up. Okay, Sam. Don't move until I tell you to. Reach in the back there. Move the dynamite away from the rifle. Okay, after I'm down, take him about 10 feet inside the tunnel. Use him as a shield. Okay, go ahead. Get moving. Would have worked just 
fine. Use for ten seconds. Get the horses. When they're ready, call me. What are you going to do with him? I think I can answer that. We're not going to do anything with him. The dynamite is. trouble would be ashamed to blow myself up too. Yeah. A real shame. Count on your dynamite. All right, Edwards. You caused a lot of people a lot of trouble. Now let's see if you can take some of it. Okay. Come on, Sheriff. This tunnel. Another entrance? Yeah. out and blow it up with a rifle shot. Hey, what happened to that hangman? He's dead. Looks like we'll have to get another one real quick.
be Cause your future's just as good as your draw In Tombstone Territory Whistle me up a memory Whistle me back where 